So do you know what blood snow is? We won't be surprised if you don't because for centuries it did not concern us. Until very recently when it was officially named. It isn't as gory as it sounds. It is an algae that looks like this. A faint red color on the pristine snow of the Alps. It is believed to thrive in cold water and ice. So when summer comes, the snow melts and the algae blooms. When it's in the snow, it accumulates a pigment, like sunscreen, and to protect itself from the light intensity. Like us, when we go skiing or even here, today we are getting sunburned and we use sunscreen. The algae to protect themselves, well, if think it's for this, because we don't have the proof yet. They accumulate this red pigment that overcomes the green. So they are fundamentally green, but it's hidden behind a big shield of red pigment. Well, scientists don't have a lot of time. Rising global temperatures are hitting the Alps disproportionately, but it is important to explore this unusual phenomenon. So they have deployed modern means to collect samples and then study them back in labs. There are a lot of questions. The first one we want an answer to, from an ecological point of view, is where those algae are coming from. Because in the mountains, we have white snow or slightly colored snow because of the sand. But suddenly, we start to see those algae, those red spots. Where were they before? This is the big question. That's why we also work on the ground. The algae was first described by Aristotle in the 3rd century BC, but it was only formally identified in 2019, and since then, it is becoming more and more prominent in early summertime. Recent researchers speculate that the growing volumes of algae are due to climate change. With higher carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere, the algae is blooming. And this is problematic, because the presence of algae accelerates snow melting, since its pigment reduces the ability to reflect the sun's heat. We know that these algae, because of the snow's coloration, are increasing the albedo, so snows are melting at a faster rate. What we also know is that with time, when the level of CO2 increased in the atmosphere, we find red snow more often. So it's likely linked to global warming, and the warmer it is, the more algae there are, and the more snow melts quickly. So it's a bit of a vicious cycle. And we're trying to understand all the mechanisms to understand the circle so we can try to do something about it. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.